This is um, a specimen of Corbicula fluminea. That's the scientific name for the Asian clam. The Asian clam. It's been in the Columbia River since the 1930s, probably arriving on ship hulls or imported as a food item from Asia. Salvador Rob Chavez says there are a lot of them in the river now, from Astoria all the way to Tri-Cities. They've been here for quite a long time, but most people don't know that they're, you know, passing by them on I-84 every single day. They are in pretty uh, abundant numbers um, all throughout the urban areas, especially um, of the Columbia River, but were found throughout the entire breadth of my study area. Rob Chavez is a master's graduate in environmental science from Washington State University and the study's lead author. He says his team found Asian clams in concentrations of more than 400 per square meter in some samplings along the Columbia River. They are known to be a detriment to our native mussels, uh, which are a first food, a cultural resource for natives in the area. Um, they can outcompete them for space, they outcompete them for food, um, and uh, you know their condition and abundance is greatly diminished in the presence of the clam. The invasive species eat plankton that native mussels eat, and up the food chain, so do salmon. And while Asian clams are bad enough, they are not the only invasive species in the river. It's only a part of the puzzle of invasive species in the Columbia River. It's um, just one in a long laundry list of invasive species that have been brought to the system by human activities. Rob Chavez says this study on Asian clams in the Columbia should serve as a warning about keeping other invasive species out of the river. Tim Gordon, KGW News.